Good evening, my fellow Bermudians. During the island-wide shutdown due to COVID-19, I met regularly with David Burt, our Premier, to collaborate and give advice on behalf of the official opposition. Those meetings were at times tense, but in the interest of unity and Bermuda's very future, it was the right thing to do. Sadly, Premier Burt used those meetings to merely advance his own agenda. This culminated in him trying to blame the One Bermuda Alliance for calling of the upcoming general election on baseless grounds of saving costs due to a number of anticipated retirements of MPs from the OBA and Burt administration. During at least two of these meetings, Mr. Burt raised the issue that all my fellow Bermudians need to know about. That is the issue of independence. Mr. Burt asked me whether I would give him the opposition support in bringing Bermuda to independence. I was shocked at this overture, especially during a time of national crisis. Frankly, independence, like this completely unnecessary election, should have been the last thing on Mr. Burt's mind. He advised that he would remove his opposition to the granting of status to long-term residents since he said that after independence it did not matter. Mr. Burt, our Premier, asked for my assistance in this endeavor by speaking directly with international business groups to essentially sell this idea. I told Mr. Burt that Bermudians need to come together before any such matter is ever considered. I share this with you tonight because I believe the people of Bermuda have the right to know of his intent. My party has said for some time that the Burt administration is ultimately seeking a mandate for independence. That is what this election is ultimately about. It is about David Burt, our Premier, and a barely hidden agenda for independence. His own supporters have, over the last few years, consistently and systematically made comments and shown the Burt administration's true intent. Mr. Burt himself has made a number of public statements in full support of independence. So in hindsight, his approach to me should not have been a surprise. I make this solemn promise to you. Should you put your faith in an OBA administration, I will not move Bermuda towards independence and I will not do anything without a referendum requested by the people and a result clearly showing the will of the people. Such a referendum would be separate and distinct from a general election. Independence is not what Bermuda needs. Bermuda needs a strong economy, jobs for Bermudians, a vibrant education system, a healthcare system that works, and public services that serve all Bermudians. I make this point again, Bermuda. Premier Burt is misleading you about his plans for Bermuda. I have raised this matter of his overtures on independence now, since in good conscience I cannot sit by and watch Bermuda be taken down a road to independence by stealth and without your consent. On October 1st, I urge you to say no to Premier Byrd and no to his plans for independence. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me this evening and may God bless you and may God bless Bermuda.